welcome to AFI Fest 2020 presented by Audi. My name is Malene Khan and I'm a programmer with the festival. Before we begin today's discussion, I would like to thank all of our supporters, our presenting sponsor Audi, our AFI members, as well as you, our audience. Thank you so much for joining us in this very special virtual edition of AFI Fest. You should have all just seen the film A La Bordage, which premiered at the Berlinale earlier this year, and we are so pleased to be presenting it now. Here with me today is writer-director Guillaume Brock, as well as Salif Sousse, who has given us such a wonderful performance with his character Sharif. Thank you both for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs> I want to begin uh, just with the beginning of the film itself and you know how the project kind of came about. Uh, Guillaume, if you could speak to that. The conservatoire hired him to write a film yes. for us. And yeah, we, we for for young actors, yeah, for young actors in a, in a theater school, mm. and uh, the idea was to to write a movie for them, and this this was supposed to be for most of them their first time uh, uh, on screen, on, on screen, yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, I really wrote this movie uh, for them and uh, um, I was uh, inspired a lot. Of, uh, by the personality of each of the actors, yeah. of each actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, actors, the actors and the characters are clearly so important to the film. Um, could you talk about the selection process, how you decided that these would be your actors and how Salif became one of your leads? Uh, maybe Salif, you can, uh, you, you remember uh, what happened. Uh, yes, um, <laughs> we, we did uh, interviews. Um, he, uh, um, Guillaume didn't want to do uh, any, um, you know, casting, any cast. He, he wanted to do like uh, meetings and interviews. So we sat for one hour and we talked about our lives, our, um, you youth. know, <laughs> our, our youth, uh, love, love, <laughs> and, you know, everything. Politics, that, uh, politics. Yeah, me, me, me and you, we talked a lot about politics and. And yeah, I think, uh, I guess, I don't know how he cho chose, but he, he chose the, um, the people that, you know, connected the most with him and, and remind him of, of him and his youth. And I think it happened like that. Yes. And I, re I remember that I, I, I went in the conservatory to see all these young actors um, working in, inside, the, in, into, into the school, um, in the school. But um, uh, uh, that was um, everything I felt when I met them uh, in person. In person, like uh, in a cafe, or uh, was much more uh, important and precise. And I had some uh, wrong feelings uh, in the school, but uh, everything I felt. Uh, uh, when I met you, mm. was uh, accurate. I don't want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't need to 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 to, to make any casting. Uh, uh, mm. You can feel a lot of things when you discuss with somebody. That was more genuine, I think. Yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. Did you know at that stage that you would have that you would be casting Salif and Eric as the uh, leads in the film? Yes. Uh, very early, I had the, um, this intuition. I don't. Uh, you can say intuition. Yeah. yeah. This intuition that uh, Eric and Salif would be uh, in the middle of the movie. Uh, you're very, very good friends in mm. life. Yeah. Uh, that was very beautiful to, to see you together with um, with your your own personalities. Mm. And you're quite calm and mm. like a philosopher <laughs> and Eric very uh, 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 yeah, energetic uh, it's a very you know uh, intuitive guy yeah and, and uh, I had the feeling uh, uh, I have, had the intuition uh, they were two very powerful uh, actors yeah and uh, I'm a very yeah and from the very beginning they were the, the, the main characters yeah. Yeah, it makes so much sense actually to hear that you're already very good friends because there is such a kind of lovely rapport between the two of you. Um, and between kind of everyone, you know, obviously these are your classmates um, uh, and you're in this kind of breezy summer camp setting. Um, could you describe from both of your perspectives what the atmosphere was like on set? I think it was very... That was not holiday. Yeah. That was not, not a holiday. holiday. <laughs> but 
I mean, it depends on the, um, yeah, it was not a holiday, it was hard work, but in the meantime, I, I kept um, all the good, you know, all the good stuff that happened. Like, I felt, and when I think about it, when I rem remember it, I, it, it feels like a holiday. It feels like a wonderful moment, a summary moment that we, we, we had all together. And uh, yeah, it was, um, I think it was our first experience. So we were kind of st stressed out and, we we didn't know how to um, you know handle the camera. We we come from theater, so there's kind of a transition to make, and I think we along the way we we kind of you know um, we kind of get like how is the, is it different to play um, in theater on, on stage and in front of the camera, and you know we I think we learned our craft uh, during um, this this the, the show of this movie so it was very um new but in the meantime it was very it, it's um it's a bright souvenir i think <laughs> yeah and after a shooting when the movie is uh is finished we we remember mostly uh <laughs> yeah good things, <laughs> good, good, good things. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> now, um, you said in berlin that uh, that was very interesting for you and helpful for you to shoot in the in the order of the story yeah. and and so we we left paris mm. and we did uh, the travel and uh, we arrived yeah. uh, on, quite all together mm. in the south of france and and then the um, the, sh the shooting followed the um, mm. the, 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 the story yeah. yeah and it helps to build this narrative that it's a, it's all a holiday because we really made um the voyage thing like we uh, i i i wanted to go um you know in um i didn't want to take the train i wanted to go uh, with the car and you know see the but you didn't sleep in the camping i didn't sleep in the not camping. really not really no really. but most of them in the technical team and yeah uh, they did, they uh, did. Uh, before the shooting but uh, yeah. the first assistant uh, slept the whole shooting in the whole camp, shooting but uh, we slept uh, during the Okay. Yeah, before preparing yeah. the movie, so they, <laughs> they picked uh, the locations and they slept in the camping to to see. How but it was. you you slept in a very luxurious hotel. <laughs> 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 it, it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It was a, a quite low, very low budget movie. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you talked about the kind of order or the progress of the film because your character really um, changes throughout the course of the film, um, becomes kind of, you know, changes from a supporting actor, a supporting character to Eric, to Felix, um, to at the end, you have kind of your own love story. Um, you're kind of, you have your own uh, scenes that are just for you and kind of your own separate world in the camp. Um, was that from the beginning or did you kind of build onto that as you went along? It was kind of written like that. And I think um, uh, what Guillaume uh, tried to explain us what he wanted to do with the movie was like uh, it, it, the first um, part of the movie, like um, just um, showing this, like this deception of uh, this guy that came a long way from uh, Paris to go meet this girl and nothing happened. And you know, just leaving him for a moment to you know to focus on other characters and maybe um, going back to him towards the end to see how it goes. So yeah, it, it was it was um, it was always meant like that. But I think the the, the end changed a lot. I mean, it, it was uh, it was it wasn't it wasn't sure it, it, it will be a, an open ending or mm -hmm. something more you know that closed all the stories. Mm -hmm. It was it was changing. Uh, we were we were supposed to to shoot uh, an epilogue yeah. uh, in, in in winter mm. in Paris again a few months later. But at the end of the editing, I didn't want anymore to shoot this epilogue mm. because I had the feeling with my editor we had the feeling that that was just perfect like this to to stop the movie mm. at mm. this uh, preci precise moment. Yeah. Uh, um, and the spectator can guess it's only uh, a beautiful moment and nothing more, or maybe this is the beginning of mm. a story and this moment, uh, your two bodies yeah. uh, in, 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 
uh, altogether in, in the bed, this is uh, <laughs> uh, the stronger, um, the strongest picture to end the movie. Yeah, it's a perfect ending. It really just feels kind of like the end of summer <laughs> in that way. Um, I, well, I guess what I wanted to get at is more kind of uh, how you developed your own character, you know, how much of yourself is in that character? I think uh, a lot of myself is in the char this character because it, it began with, with an interview and I think a lot of, um, of Guillaume's youth is in this character too. Um, some maybe, maybe it's a bit more in Edouard. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm kidding, well, because I, I, I'm in, in the three of, of you, yeah. I think. Uh, That's what you told me. I feel close to the, the three main characters. Yeah, and, and I, mean, I mean, I feel like I'm playing myself but when I was 15 years old. That's what I told him. I mean, but it's kind of part of me, but I, 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 used, I, I remember telling myself that it's when I'm 15. At 15, I was like that, and I have to develop that. And I thought that at 20, you were like that. 20? Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of, um, it, was a, it was a particular Because film. I, I was like, 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 like you were at 20. At 20? Yeah. You were late. <laughs> I, I was very late. Uh, I, I thought you were late uh, as well, but yeah. you, were, you were not late. <laughs> not that late. And yeah, and I, it was it was a feeling like I was playing myself at 15, but um, in the meantime, like uh, I was thinking like, what, what if everything that happens to me in the film happened at 15? Because I didn't. Um, we we talked a lot of. Um, about vacation, do I did I went to vacation when I was little or not? And I told him that I was going to. Um, you know, we have. I don't know if you, you can say that in, in English, but we have like little camps. Uh, I went to camps. Uh, you know, in the in the, um, you know along along um, along the sea uh, in Bretagne and when I was little. But it was the first. It was the only things I did on vacation, so I didn't have a, you know a perfect a summer to tell or something like that happened a, story, a love story during summer, and uh, I was like it was like taking a revenge of, of things to to feel that in that movie. I want to go back to um, the filmmaking, um, Guillaume. If you could talk about uh, what your experience, because you have a 2018 documentary, that could, Treasure Island, which could almost be seen as kind of the uh, nonfiction counterpart to this film. Um, and I, I wanted to ask you what you, how you think having uh, made this documentary informed this film. You're right. Two years before uh, I shot this documentary, uh, this is a movie. This is already a movie about summer. This is a, a movie shot in uh, in uh, the suburbs of Paris, in, a, in, in like a, a big uh, park with a uh, artificial beach. And this is a place where people who don't uh, go, uh, don't live in holiday, uh, can spend some summer days. And uh, and in in this movie, in, in this movie, à l'abordage, I had the feeling that that was. A little bit the story of two guys who, who ordinarily don't go in holidays mm -hmm. and at the beginning of the movie they are working they are not like Edouard or Alma who every summer they, they spend maybe two months in holiday and they're they don't have the, the same um, uh, maybe um, money constraints I would say uh, even contraintes financières or even training yeah um, and uh, this is because there is this this meeting with this girl at the beginning of the movie that he, that Felix uh, uh, gets this energy to to partir à l'aventure yeah to, to go to go to the adventure yeah <laughs> and and to to take his friend with him yeah. and uh, yes but I think that you're right this, these two movies the documentary and the fiction are quite connected and the the documentary. Um, uh, uh, from time to time uh, was very close to fiction and this fiction from time to time is very close to documentary. Uh, so there is a link between them. 
you've kind of hinted at this a little bit, but kind of talking about the campgrounds versus the people who are staying in the resorts and, you know, the kind of race and class elements in um, this film. Did you discuss that a lot, kind of um, uh, amongst yourself? Yeah, that, that, that. <laughs> yeah. From the, uh, maybe not from the very first time, but... Uh, yeah, along the way, I think. Yeah, yeah we talked about that. It was very important for Eric and Salif, uh, the way a white guy like me could represent uh, black pe black characters in a French author movie, mm. uh, and uh, one of, of the first time uh, Eric and, and Salif told me uh, it was uh, we don't want uh, our friends uh, could mock us after seeing the movie. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> food not good. Yeah, food not good. I didn't want that. They they. You know, like friends, like everything I do, uh, I, 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 want, I want to be able to, you know, invite friends, invite family, and they just feel like it's everything is normal. They're not, you know, out of place. And I think it was, um, you know, the perfect way to to to, to tell to tell him that it was an important, you know, um, part of um, what we were trying to make with this movie. Yeah, but. Uh... That was uh, very important, uh, but uh, I agreed a lot with this because uh, in previous movies I I, um, I worked several times with non-professional actors, and that was always very important for me to think that uh, these non-professional actors who didn't live at all in Paris, who who were not at all in in cinema. Um, yeah, in a kind of, um, in a kind of, um, you know, they didn't, they're not part of the um, Hollywood business. Yeah. So <laughs> Hollywood <laughs> France. <laughs> <laughs> they feel comfortable with the movie yeah. in, in which they they, uh, they, they play. Yeah. And uh, uh, of course, this is totally different because you're actors, uh, but um, uh, I don't want at all to make movies only for. Um, for an elite or yeah. only for white people, uh, yeah, bourgeois, yeah, kind of, yeah, uh, that was. Um, but um, we had, anyway, a lot of discussions mm -hmm. because uh, I, I am a white guy and uh, uh, I don't, um, I didn't grow up in, in the same place, and, and, and there, there were some details that was not uh, accurate, mm -hmm. from, and you. We talked a lot about this, and we we work together on the characters to be. Uh, and the another question, very important, um, uh, the 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 color of the characters mm. should not be a subject in the movie. Mm. Uh, but uh, I, I had um, yeah. the feeling that it, it could not be the subject, but it could not be uh, erased. Totest, yeah, erased. Mm. Yeah. Uh, because uh, th this had an influence mm. on on, uh, on the relationships mm. between Eric and Alma, yeah. between uh, Felix and Alma, and, mm. uh, and uh, both of you with Edouard, mm. but under in underground, in, yeah. Uh, voilà. underneath, yeah. yeah, underneath, that was not the subject. Yeah. but we, we could we couldn't erase it totally. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's the, the, the thing I'm most proud of uh, about this movie. Like, like when I saw it, I was in, I was in embarrassed. I was in like, I didn't feel like being used. by like in when you're an actor, you, you always feel feel used. But when you're a black actor, you feel used for the color of your skin too. And I didn't feel that way. I, it was like. Beautiful, like a beautiful moment that I spent in that theater with all these people that I didn't know that watched the movie, and I, and I don't think they saw that. They saw love stories, uh, adventures, but it was there, like like you said, it was underneath, and and you could you could turn it that way, but you have to make an effort to yeah. to, to 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 see the, the movie in that in that angle because it's not the angle at first. Well, yeah, absolutely. It's so it's so well done. It's so delicate and nuanced. And you both, um, and Sharif, your character is just so charming and wonderful to watch. Uh, so thank you so much for this performance. And thank you, Guillaume, for this film and for including it in AFI Fest. It's been so great to talk to you both today. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.